Um, we have a fabulous group of speakers here today, but we, it would probably be a good idea to just kind of start to say, why are we doing this? Why are we having these sessions? Why are we focusing on education? The Global Sustainable Development Goals has uh, recently been published, as you know, and there was an absolute agreement from everybody who's involved in that, that education is at the heart of all 17 of those goals. So if we're going to focus on one thing, it's going to have to be education. Uh, we have Adam Craker in the room. Adam Craker is leading a conversation around economic growth um, with many other business leaders in the room. And the research shows that there's never, ever been a country in the world that has achieved sustainable economic growth without focusing on education, without improving, radically improving the education outcomes. And just to, if, in case anybody wondered where South Africa was, that's us. So we're not doing great. And that picture is not a good picture for us with regard to edu edu um, economic growth. We've all seen the story around the fourth industrial revolution, the 21st skill, 16 skills that we need for the 21st century. These skills are not currently being developed in most South African schools because most South African schools are surviving. They're not flourishing. They're not developing children for the future that we are committed to. <clears throat> so I've been uh, very lucky. Many of you will have heard me say this before. I've recently gone to the WISE, the World Innovation Summit of Education, and also the Global Education Skills Forum. And the outcome from both of these events was that we cannot leave education to the education sector. It's too important because it's our future that's at stake and that we have to take collective responsibility for education. Business, government, civil society have to work together. Now, the fact of the matter is there are not enough examples of this happening around the world. So around the world, people are saying we have to find ways to do this, to get business, government, civil society to work together. And the question that we have is could South Africa contribute some examples? So Edward, the reason why I showed that video earlier is we really need Da Vinci to play a leadership role and showcase some of these examples of South Africa doing this stuff. But so none, not, nothing happens without a purpose this afternoon. <laughs> Good, well trained. So South Africa Vision 2030. For those of you who haven't read that statement, Trevor, I hope will tell you a little bit this afternoon around uh, how it came about or why it is an important guiding light for our country. It's a beautiful description of the future that I want to live in, the, the South Africa we, we want for our children. And the National Development Plan is, is developed as a way towards getting us from where we are at the moment to that future. But as many people in this room will agree, it's a great plan, but we are grappling with execution. Execution isn't happening as we need it to happen. Now, there are some key enablers. I'm not going to talk about that other than to say one of the, one of the key enablers is collaboration. And in a sector we are not collaborating enough. So we agree that business has more to give than money. You're gonna hear some examples this afternoon. And that the smartest and most efficient way to get a system from where it is now is not to focus on what's not working, but to showcase some examples of success. That's what we're gonna do this afternoon. We're gonna showcase some examples. We're gonna inspire you to get involved in some of them, hopefully. Uh, we're going to set the scene. Trevor's going to set the scene for us. But this is part of a larger trajectory of conversation. So towards the end of this year, you'll there'll be one more Business and Education Summit. And then next year, in August, we're going to be hosting the South Africa Education 2030 Summit. So is Rashid here? He must be in the room somewhere. Uh, Rashid Tufi and MCI will help us make that happen. We want to make that a collaboration a strategic education summit where we can all come together, network, collaborate, share good practice, build a sense of community, um, and really experience a spirit of generosity. So if there's anybody in the room who wants to help us make that happen next year, this is an invitation for you to say yes. So this afternoon, we're going to be having, I love this, I'm getting the two minutes left. Thank you, Dina. 
Uh, we're going to have a context from Trevor, a kind of provocation for the rest of the afternoon. We're going to hear from seven people who will show you, give you some examples of some wonderful things that are happening to give you some hope and inspiration. And then we're going to end up with a panel who will sit at the front here and they're going to really engage with us around what we've heard. <clears throat> so, Trevor, without any further ado, over to you. And I just have to say, uh, he's a big hero of ours, and we are incredibly grateful for the fact that you said yes. And Anneli said, these are the two hours between now and the end of the year. Six months ago, she said, these are the two hours, and we grabbed them. Mm -hmm.